Oh, are we on the air? I, <coughs> I've seen about, let's say, five pool movies. Well, that's okay. probably all that there are, right? That's what I thought. Yeah, and yeah. then I, 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 I can was, think of I can think of three, right? The Hustler, Pool Hall Junkies, which I never saw, and of course, The Color of Money. Other right. than that, I, I can't tell you another pool movie. Okay, so um, there's a bunch of movies that should not be pool movies. Because they're not really about pool, and but they they got a pool player on the on the cover. There is pool being played in it. The subplot all revolves around pool, but there's always something else going on in the movie. And I was thinking about about these movies. I actually was googling um, pool hall junkies. Uh, I guess it was this morning, and um, all these other movies came up and one of them was the shooting gallery, um, which I had heard of, but I hadn't really watched. So I forced myself to watch uh, half of it. And um, so I, I kind of wanted to talk about pool movies because a lot of guys haven't seen some of these movies and I just wanted to become the movie critic for a minute. And yeah, and, I, 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 I I would say most of us who have any interest in pool have at least watched The Color of Money. I would say that's yeah. the one that we probably all watched. Um, I, I only watched The Hustler because I saw The Color of Money and then I wanted to see what the younger Eddie Felson looked like. And then I had a, right. uh, a, a couple of older gentlemen that would tell me, look, I, I know it's in black and white, but don't worry about it. You just have to go watch it. It's a, it's a really good movie. You get, you get to see Jackie Gleason play. It is who, the best. Um, as I've heard numerous times, he was actually a really good pool player in real life. Yeah. But then I, I also heard that um, Paul Newman was not a very good pool player when he was originally um, brought on to play the right. role. He, he had to train with Moscone to take the role. Oh, right. And he also went, bought himself a pool table for his house and he practiced, practiced day and night, day and night. I, I actually read that in an article um, a few weeks ago. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, the, the hustler, you, I mean could argue it's better than the color of money but it is better than to the each his own it's to each yeah. his own yeah but um and every guy that plays pool that is over i would say 40 years old has seen the hustler i mean i play pool today because of the hustler with well, two things i mean is that true? yeah I Willie Mus that. Did, yeah. this is this is what caused me to to really be interested in pool the movie the hustler and Willie Moscone playing on Wild Water Sports. It was Channel 6 in Philadelphia when I was growing up. Uh, they had pool on TV like a couple Sundays a month, it seemed, to like, seemed like. But The Hustler is definitely um, the greatest pool movie. I don't know that a lot of younger guys will appreciate it because they're playing straight pool. You know, it is in black and white. The stars I, I, that are in it, they a lot of them don't know. Yeah, I, I, I thought they were playing eight pool. That's how... Um... <laughs> Un unknowledgeable yeah. I was about the game when I first yeah. saw it. I was like, yeah, hey, this is an eight ball that they're playing. And I would wonder why they would hit the ball and just tap that that ball in the end and leave it. Oh, great shot. I'm like, what? <laughs> what, 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 what kind of break about? is that? Yeah. Yeah, what kind of yeah. break is that? I'm like I, I'm like, I could do it better than that. I'm like 15, <laughs> 16 years old. No, um, that that is definitely the best know. pool movie ever. And um, it's not just the fact that it's got two of the greatest actors of that time mm -hmm. in it. But from a technical, and this is this is where I, I really go nuts with these pool movies. You know, if you're if you're a gun guy and you see guys hand, handling guns in movies, you're like, oh, OK, this guy never held a gun in right. his life. Um, and, you know, when if you're a pool guy and you see certain things happen in movies, you're like, you know, look, well, the the um, the hustler is the most technically correct. Sound. Yes. Okay. Pool movie. Willie Moscone was the technical advisor. I actually did a cameo in the movie. I heard um, that, yeah. yeah. And uh, there's a point in there where they need somebody to hold the money. He was and, the money guy. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and Jackie yeah. Gleason says to, to Willie, he says, Hey, Willie, hold the money. So Willie not only, uh, 
he did one of the the shots in the in the movie because neither guy was going to be able to pull it off it's some sick mass a or something but um but it was about pool and pool players will appreciate it the guys play even though paul newman had just learned to play guys play like they could play pool mm-hmm. i've seen a couple movies now the color of money the color of money they actually have good technical advisors. They do, you know, at least Tom Cruise knows how to hold a pool cue. He knows how to, how to shoot a ball. He knows how to make a bridge. He knows how to do all of that. And he, um, you know, he, 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 he knows how to make stop shots. Dave calls the, the, the Tom Cruise run out where yeah, you got yeah. a stop shot there, a stop shot there, a stop. They yeah. gave him all of those, all it of those good. stop shots. He, and he, good, right? he, he made a bunch of stop shots. Yeah. Pool. Yeah, but there's legitimate pool being played in in the color of money. I mean, you can tell that um, there's legitimate situations and and real pool players, and it is about pool. The movie um, Pool Hall Junkies is also about pool. It's not as good as the other two movies, um, but it's got some big stars in it. It's got Christopher Walken in it, um, and I think that's a pretty decent movie, and I think that it is legitimately about pool. Um, another one that's legitimately about pool and really, um, I don't want to say was a disappointment, but was really needed at a time when pool was falling off and just didn't come through, uh, the way the game needed, you know, the color of money said lit a fire under, under pool. Um, the hustler didn't need to, because pool was so popular back then. Right, but right. the movie Nine Ball, the movie, um, Jennifer Beretta is in it. And I want to say that that was her first acting gig, as far as I, I know. And she had a big part. She's in the whole thing. And I exactly. think she did an amazing job um, for being a pool player and not an actress uh, with a with a, a, a less than, you know, Emmy's caliber script. <laughs> and 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 not a lot of great actors around her um right. Jeanette Jeanette Lee was in the movie and of course you know if Jeanette just steps out for a moment and recites the alphabet it's worth watching uh <laughs> she's just such an amazing human being um Jeanette was in it uh there were a couple other um legit pool players Allison was in it and had a had a small part but but she Allison was Allison Fisher it. yeah so the problem with that movie was it didn't have a budget. It it was, I remember when it came out, it was over 10 years ago and they were on the internet trying to raise money um, for this movie. And it looks like the APA, uh, the owners of the APA looks like they, I don't know this for sure. I'm just saying as a, as a businessman looking at this movie, looks like the APA came up with some funds because the whole second half of the movie is an APA commercial. Um, <laughs> and the, and it looks like Lucasi came up with some funds because there's a scene in there where um, promoting their uh, equipment. Yeah, where a girl shows up. Uh, this clearly, <laughs> I don't want to shit on the movie, but it, it is, <laughs> they're, they're they're sitting having lunch. <laughs> okay. Jennifer Beretta, Allison Cooper, I mean Allison Fisher, and 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 a and a couple other people are sitting having lunch. And a girl walks in and she says, uh, oh, I know what this, the subject was. Um, Jennifer's character, uh, her, the father, her father was a pool player and he left this pool cue behind and somebody gives, gives her the pool cue. And um, spoiler, uh, the pool cue gets destroyed. Somebody destroys the pool cue. I'm not going to say who in case you guys want to watch it. But a woman... Uh, <laughs> A woman shows up while they're having lunch and she says, Lucasi would like to present present you with this pool cue uh, to replace your father's pool cue. And pl- plug in. Yeah. And, like she found him at the diner and brought him a pool cue. And um, you know, Jennifer does her part and says, Oh, thank you very much. Wow. And you know, I really need this. And then in the next scene, which is the big finale match, Jennifer Beretta does not have that stuff. <laughs> She's playing so, with something else. She played with something totally different, <laughs> which means that they put in that part 
to me, this is what it means. They put in that part after production, post production, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because probably some some sponsorship money, money, right? Yeah, they, some they, sponsorship they, they, money. They came put through. some money in, yeah. Yeah. So the bottom line is, um, the Nine Ball movie. I, I I I love all the people that were in the movie, even ones that weren't pool players. But it did suffer from financing. If Writing, they had financing, they would have had a better script. They would have had better technical advisory. They would have not turned it into a movie about the the APA. So guys, if you want to, if you want to see Jennifer do do a really good job in a movie that um, is mostly about the fact that she's a pool player, I wish they had let her loose and really showed her game a little bit more because she's a spectacular player. Um, but it wasn't enough of that. At least in Nine Ball, I mean, in um, The Color of Money and The Hustler, you actually see guys playing and shooting racks and and, and stuff like that. But um, anyway. Um, All right. So, so that's my rant on on, on movies. Pool movies. Anything I didn't mention is probably not worth watching. Yeah. yeah. The shooting gallery was, it was, I don't want to say it was bad because that's all, you know, relative, but you see guys that are supposed to be hustlers in that movie and they don't know how to hold a pool cue. Okay, they don't know how to make a bridge. They they look like, you know, they just learned to play pool that afternoon. The Pool Players Logbook. Designed by pool players for pool players. The Pool Players Logbook is where you'll record all of the shots, drills, practice sessions, and playing situations that you'll want to refer to in the future. You can place your order now at Amazon.com using the link in this video or at FXBillards.com. Order now.